In this video, I'm going to go over a small application called Sticky Notes or Indicator Sticky Notes for Linux. Now, I'm using Ubuntu Mate 18.04.3, the long term support, and this will work with other distributions as well. Now, if you found this on YouTube, I will provide a link below the video that will take you to my website that will show you step by step instructions for installing it. It's very simple, you just open the terminal. Uh, you copy and place that into your terminal, press the enter return key, and then you copy that uh, list of commands and press the return or enter key and press Y, but you have to you put your password in uh, so it can install on your system. And once it installs on your system, it can be found in the accessories menu, uh, indicator sticky notes will be the icon in your menu and it will pop up. Now it won't immediately pop up to look like that. You can go through on your system tray there'll be a little icon that you can go to settings and you can make all sorts of settings changes as you can see here the category. So I will have the link that will show you the step-by-step -step instructions for installing it for the first time. But I've already installed it to speed things up and once you go to accessories you click on indicator sticky notes. Now I've already have uh, the sticky notes created and I wanted to to leave them created. I started to delete them and I wanted to show you that once you quit the application it's not deleting or removing the sticky notes that you created and that can be a good thing. For, ex for example if you are uh, just changed your Wi-Fi password and don't remember it you could put a sticky note on the top of your desktop for putting the Wi-Fi password in throughout different applications or devices through your house and then once you remember your Wi-Fi password you can delete it but you don't want to have it visible every time you turn your computer on and you can actually go into there and place to hide some of the indicators so that way when you're finished and you delete the indicator once you delete uh, the sticky note it will actually remove it in, uh, from your desktop and no longer visible but the sticky notes if you've ever, ever came from the Microsoft Windows environment and used the sticky notes you'll feel right at home because they're very similar you can make yourself to-do list like I can say update my website create a video tutorial which I'm doing here then embed the video on YouTube that's the to-do list today and then like I used the example Wi-Fi password I just put none of your business just for an example I didn't want to give a real Wi-Fi password across the internet and then I have like a little footnote a little something that I don't want to forget like says don't feed, forget to feed the kittens before leaving this evening and here's uh, the orange one and I'll show you in just a moment in the settings how you can create different categories and create a different color code for each of your categories like this particular category uh, and this is something I really didn't think of until recently when someone wanted me to switch from Windows 7 put Ubuntu Mate on their system they like to use sticky notes so when they're learning an application or they're learning a new program they'll put the shortcut keys for the new program and then once they learn it they delete the short uh, the sticky note and I thought that's a good idea I never really thought of that I a lot of times use uh, the text editor and put information and in. I'll click on that as a, as a little thumbnail to look at it never thought about using a sticky note but I put some Ubuntu Mate keyboard shortcuts here and I'm not really going to go through there because not everyone that's watching this video uses Ubuntu Mate but that's like if I wanted to, to learn some of the shortcuts I could use that until I learn them and then I could press the delete or the delete sticky note from here which is the delete button now here I can lock it so that I can't edit anymore when I press the lock button I no longer can click in here and add things to it I can highlight it or select it but I cannot add to it if I want to add to it I unlock and you see the insertion point allowing you me to add to the sticky note as you can see here this is allows me to change the color uh, by choosing a different category like if since I chose an orange category I can change it to a yellow category I could change it to the blue category, I could change it to the green category, or I could go back to my original orange, or I can create another category altogether. This allows me to create a whole new note. It would bring up a new sticky note over in the corner, and I could move it on across my desktop. Up here in the indicator, within my status bar, I can create a new note. I can say show all. I can hide all. So if I click this right here, you can't see any of them, even though it's running in the background they're hidden so that way if I'm making YouTube videos and don't want people to see my notes I could say to hide all my notes and I could go back to view all my notes which is show all I could lock all of them at one time by hitting the lock all it would lock each one of those so they cannot be edit I could lock, unlock all those by choosing this one I can export the data which is on the selected sticky note 
uh, or export data take data from the sticky note and place it somewhere else or I could import data from like a notepad saved and put it into a sticky note when I go to the about it shows me the version it shows me some of the the keyboard selections that you can use to use uh, sticky notes and here's your credits and your license and the close button here's your settings in your settings and I'll go ahead and close my to-do list well, let me get this out of the way I'm gonna close well, I guess I have to close this one it's trying to be on top now I'm gonna close this one delete I'm gonna delete this one and I'm gonna delete this one and then I'm gonna go back to my settings I don't know why the the sticky note was on top of the settings but yet the settings was the active one uh, but anyhow if I wanted to create myself a new category I could click new and when it goes to a new category when you click on the category it creates a drop down now when you're installing it for the first time there won't be any categories it'll be kind of a yellow caution orange or caution yellow looking uh, sticky note but you can change the colors and that's the color the default color I change the default color which is the default category to a yellower looking a brighter looking yellow so if you wanted something other than your yellow that you see here the blue that I created the orange that I created and the green that I created you could come here and choose any color or you could customize you could if you don't see a color up here you could hit add and create a new custom color and then hit select so if I wanted to create like a purple color or violet color I click on it and hit select then I could choose the text color that's a lighter looking uh, text here if I wanted a darker one I could come over here and choose the real dark hit select and it gives me dark text on the violet color and you can hit make default so when I go to open it up and to use a sticky note that would be a purple one but I don't want to make this the default I hit OK now if I come up here and say a new sticky note it's gonna come up with my yellow one originally because that's my default color but you remember I can change it to and I don't think I changed the name while I go but I can change it to purple let me close this out delete it I come back up here I go back to settings and then I go to where it says new category because I didn't give it a name where it says new category here I can call this like violent and then I can hit OK so now when I hit new note it comes up with a default color and you can resize your note your sticky note any size that you want then I could change my color to any color as you can see here and I can say this is my new sticky note and so as you can see here it's a dark text on a violet or purple background so with sticky notes uh, it's just something to help you create a to-do list so that you won't forget it's, it's a reminder it's like when you're using real sticky notes instead of placing them around your monitor or on your desk you can put them on your desktops and when you reboot until you delete these they should not disappear they should like if you cut your system off if you're trying to remember these shortcuts later in the week you don't have to retype them each time it should remember them until you press the delete key and when you delete these they're now gone until you create them again when you go up here and hit quit if I did have sticky notes on the desktop it won't delete them until I actually delete the sticky note itself so hopefully this has helped you understand how to use sticky notes and how to install them on an Ubuntu system or if you're looking for other types of Linux distributions you can look at the sticky notes or I can maybe provide a link at the very bottom for dis other distributions of Linux so that you can install them on those systems as well hopefully this video has been helpful to you and have a great day